and it's your boy Corn Dog, the real hustler. And uh, it seemed like it was just a few months ago. Actually, it was November 2012 that the movie The Twilight Saga and Breaking Down Part 2 came out. But now it's about to be on DVD. Uh, March 2nd actually will be the release, and they're going from city to city doing promos. We got two of the actors in town, and we're going to sit back and talk with them. I never felt more alive. I was born to be a vampire. Uncle Tori, they're coming for us. My family's in danger. I need your help. I'll never let anybody hurt you. Get them. Let her go! I just want to say, you guys make vampire look cool. Oh, thank you. Know, you, know, try oh, thanks. you guys look cool. I mean, hair and makeup people, they, they, throw, <laughs> they throw the contacts on in the makeup. They, yeah. they do most but of the you, had, you was mean mugging through the, throughout the thing. You oh, had that like, yeah. mean swag going you gotta on. Have, you gotta have that vampire scowl. Well, you know, you, you gotta look at it from Peter's perspective. He's walking into that house, there's werewolves over there, you know, our sworn enemies. You know, so I'm smelling dog in the corner on one <laughs> side. There's all these other vampires from all these different places. Egyptian vampires walking around, you know, the Amazonian vampires. I mean, for Peter, he's a nomad. You know, he's not used to he's not used to being inside even. So he sees all that stuff and it's just it's one of those things where he's constantly trying to figure out what's going on. Okay. You know? Mm -hmm. What about you? You, you, you look cool over there. <laughs> uh, thanks, man. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty yeah, All you want to do is whoop some butt in the whole movie. Yeah, exactly. And they didn't allow me to do that. You know, it's like, you know, Stephanie wanted to just talk things out, you know. But I'm glad that they did in the movie where they put the whole battle scene in. I mean, it, it just uh, really helped uh, up the ante on that. And it just it makes it easy when you're playing a 3,000-year-old Romanian that yeah. is angry and wants revenge and whoops some ass. Well, honestly, I got to say, that was one of my best ones out oh, of the whole series. I mean, the others were good, but I think those were more for the women. You know, yeah, they loved and loved sure. them. This one was about them protecting their family and, and, and getting mm -hmm. involved and doing whatever it takes. And you guys really played the role. Oh, thanks, man. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. What, what's your feelings on, on being a part of one of the biggest movies that was ever made? It, it, well, you know, I mean, it, it, you always feel very lucky because, I mean, to be a part of something this big, it doesn't happen to all actors. So when you, you get such a big present like this, to be a part of something this big, um, you, you know, you're just very thankful for, for being a part of it. I mean, it, I, if somebody would have told me a year before I got it that I'd be in Twilight, I'd laugh in their face. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm very happy. Okay. Yeah. Now, you play Stefan. Stefan, Stefan, yeah. right. Uh, what was it like? You, you know, your character, what was your character all about? Well, my character is uh, a Romanian vampire. Uh, it's uh, Stefan and Vladimir are the, the only ones that survived. Uh, they, they're 3,000 years old. They used to rule the vampire world. And the Volturi, who are the main bad guys, you know, um, ambushed us, killed all our coven, our wives, and uh, took our power away from them, for us, from us. And uh, so we've been waiting for over 1,500 years to get revenge. So. In this movie, when uh, we know that they're coming after the Collins, we decide that this is a great time to come in and, and get our revenge, and uh, so that's why we're there. Okay. Now, Eric, you play Peter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Peter is a nomad. He's Jasper's best friend, Jasper, played by Jackson Rathbone in the movie, one of the main Collins. He's Jasper's best friend, and so when the Collins are going around collecting witnesses to show the Voltori that they're not the threat that the Voltori perceive them to be, mm -hmm. you know, we're one of the first people that they call on. So me and uh, my mate Charlotte, we come to Forks to help them out. Okay. Now you're the newbie, mm -hmm. right? He's got he got a little experience, but you're the newbie. What was it like when you got the the, the call that you were going to be in the movie? Uh, when I got the call, it. It came in on a Monday night, which is a little, it came in pretty late on a Monday night, and so it caught me off guard, and I had auditioned, you know, a month and a half prior, so it had, there had been a pretty good amount of time that had passed, and I felt good about the audition, and, you know, I kind of let it go, thinking, oh, the audition went well, but, you know, it just wasn't my part. Then I got the phone call, and it caught me off guard so much that immediately, it's like, before I could do anything, just start crying, <laughs> you know, just call my mom, call my dad, you know, it, it's just... It's, it's one of those rare, rare things that I hope it never goes away. You know, I hope it never goes away, that, um, that joy of finding out that you're going to be a part of something like this. What was it like on the set, you know, you guys working with uh, Robert and Kristen and Taylor? What was it like working with those guys? It was great. I mean, you know, um, 
for such young actors and to have such huge success in their career so early in their career, you know, to have people be so down to earth, to really understand that, you know, they're just lucky to have what they're having, mm -hmm. uh, was just a, a, absolutely a joy to be a part because, <clears throat> you know, a lot of actors, they let it go to their heads, but they're not like that. Um, a lot of people think that we're just saying it to be nice, but it's really true. I mean, they were very welcoming. Uh, very supportive. Uh, they always made sure that we felt comfortable, and it was uh, really a joy to work with them. Okay. I mean, was it? Did I have fun? Like they oh yeah. <laughs> uh, there was a lot of joking around on set. There was a lot of pranks. Uh, you know, um, it, it was a lot of fun, and uh, you know, it, it was sad to to have it, uh, and uh, it was really a fun movie to film. Okay. Did you guys know each other prior to, or you guys met? We, did. we didn't know each other before. We the, the way it kind of worked with the integration of the cast members is, you know, they had already been a couple of movies, so there was a pre-existing cast. Mm -hmm. But then in this one, because there is this final showdown on the field, there was a whole group of new vampires that came in. So at the beginning, it was us, you know, and Guru was one of the new vampires, and I was one of the new vampires as well. So all of us came in together and met, and there was a bit of an accelerated bonding that went on. It was kind of like moving into dorm rooms, like freshman year of college or something like that, <laughs> you know, or summer camp. You know, everybody gets together, and immediately it's just like running around, acting stupid, getting to know each other, no. you know, and then putting the work in. And slowly but surely, we got in with the existing family members and, you know, became friends with them as well. And it just became one big family. So yeah. now, going forward, what's next for you? Well, I just Eric. finished the run of a play called A Bright New Boise, the West Coast premiere of it. And now I'm working on an indie film that's hopefully going to shoot in the fall that has some fun Twilight connections to it. So okay. I think Twilight fans will be excited by it. And then, um, yeah, there's, it's pilot season right now, so it's the busiest time of year for, for, for us actors as far as auditioning for TV shows and stuff like that. So, okay, because that's yeah. where your background was mostly from TV, right? I'd done, yeah, a bit of TV and a bit of film, you know, a, a varied background. You know, you kind of, you go, you're open to all the mediums. You know, you're open to the film, television, even theater. You know, a little bit of theater here and there. Okay. Yeah. What about you, girl? Well, I got the, I did Body of Proof, which is uh, getting ready to come out. They're going to show that. Um, it's same thing. I mean, uh, the, the whole thing with uh, Breaking Dawn has opened so many doors. and uh, So there's a lot of talk, a lot of uh, things to uh, see which ones fall into place uh, kind okay. of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I, I want to ask you, because I, I was looking at your bio, and they said you co-founded this, this uh, project called Telefest. Tell me a little bit about that, if you don't mind. Well, Telefest is uh, an independent uh, television, uh, television festival that uh, we started. And uh, it was really to help, uh, you know, independent filmmakers uh, uh, try to get into TV. It's very difficult to do that. So uh, they get to shoot some stuff and, and show it to us and, uh, you know, be in front of industry people. The DVD release is March the 2nd. Get out, buy one, enjoy it in the comfort of your living room, and you heard it here from your boy, The Real Hustler, with Eric and Gurry. Hey, and I got through without hey, getting hey, 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 <laughs> hey, 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 hey,